okay so we have discussed about uh, what just a second okay so we have discussed about uh, the first and nullable functions which will be using in deciding which production to select for a given non terminal so let me reiterate so so in constructing a recursive descent parser or top down parser we need to know which rule to apply when we have seen a non terminal x and we see that the next input token input token is suppose a then i can claim that i should select x as s i should select this production if a is the first symbol symbol that can be generated by a which implies a should belongs to first of s and secondly or i can say that if s reduces to null that means if s is nullable and a is the first symbol symbol of any string that can follow x any sequence any sequence that can follow x so 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 let me explain the second so first part is clear by by uh, by since we have introduced the function first let me uh, for clarifying the second as a proposition we need another function called as follow x okay so what is follow x basically so basically uh, let me define it that would be good so i can say that a terminal symbol a is in follow n okay where n is another non terminal okay so follow n is what it is returning me a set of symbols and i am claiming that a terminal symbol a is in follow n if and only if there is a derivation from start symbol s of the grammar such that such that i can say s can derive a sequence of the form alpha n a b a beta suppose so so in a sequence where i can have n a that means a is following n then also i can apply the, the rule uh, this thing x as s okay so so we say that a is a, a is in follow of n if there exist a right hand side sequence where n is of a is followed n is followed by a okay now let us try to find out how we can calculate this follow of n understood so to calculate follow of n 
we uh, I am making certain of uh, again some propositions so suppose M is alpha n beta then the first claim is follow of n so the first claim is first of beta sorry first of beta is a subset of follow of n why it is so because in this production beta is following n and hence any the any first symbol generated by the sequence beta will be uh, will follow the uh, non terminal n okay in derivation and it is a subset because i can have mul many other rhs where n can be present and it can have another uh, follow symbol okay so this is the first proposition and second is <coughs> if beta is nullable then we can say follow of m is a subset of follow of n why it is so so let us now try to prove that to prove this so let c be a symbol which is in a follow of m then i can say by definition of uh, the follow function this is s can derive alpha n a beta i can say that my new symbol suppose s dash can derive can have a derivation of the form gamma m c delta understood because i am assuming that c is a symbol which is in follow of m that means i have a sequence in the derivation where the m c will exist okay m followed by c will exist understood now but i am assuming that m is alpha n beta so let me substitute that so i i'll get a sequence called alpha a gamma alpha n beta c delta okay so this by combining this two i get this thing now but again i am uh, claiming but beta can be nullable okay this means what this means c this means i can have gamma alpha n c delta understood since beta is nullable so c can follow n okay so so if i have a derivation m is alpha n beta and i have a symbol c which is in follow m and my beta is nullable then i can say that c will also be part of follow n okay so with these two proposition let us now try to build try to see example how first nullable and follow functions are computed okay so so let me tell you first an algorithm to compute so so algorithm to compute follow okay so let me write it here so first step is to initialize so let me write it uh, so for every non terminal a what we need to do 
first step is the initialization step so initialize follow a as an empty set okay then for every production so we'll now we'll begin a loop so i'll keep it in a while loop so while true okay so this loop will continue now for every production of the form so let me write the form is like a is suppose suppose it is a1 a2 a k a a k and followed by suppose capital b okay b is another non terminal and then a k plus 2 okay so a i'll say uh, so let me write it instead of typing so so this is my while loop and uh, i'll say that for every production of the form uh, a as alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha k b alpha k plus 2 to alpha n okay where b is a non terminal where b is a non terminal what we need to do is the first step is what since since first of a first of this thing will be follow of b will be present will be a subset of follow of b i said that so so i can just add follow of b is equal to follow of b union follow of alpha k plus 2 dot, 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 alpha n first step i will do that then i will check whether this is nullable or not so if the sequence if is nullable if nullable of alpha k plus 2 alpha k plus 3 to alpha n is true then what I need to do I need to add follow of a to follow of b by the second proposition so I can say follow of b will be what now it will be follow of a union follow of b okay and in this way this while loop iterates till we get stable values in in every set of non terminal okay okay we'll discuss an example in the next class